Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a colouring chat. I asked what if uh, if named a few books. Some said oh, colouring Doctor Who. So here is the second Doctor Who colouring book. This is uh, Travels in Time. I've got the first one, but I've already coloured in that one. So as you know, I'm trying to colour in the books I haven't coloured in. So I thought I'd pick one from this one. I then asked if they want if you wanted uh, New Who or Classic Who, and somebody said Classic Who. So Classic Who it is. So nobody specified which Doctor. So this is a adult channel and the videos on this uh, channel are for adults, they are in no way, shape or form meant for or intended made for children. So I got to find the right one now, oh there's another one. We did say new who and I did find one and now we've lost it again. This one. So this is um, my doctor, so when I grew up this was the doctor I remember the most. So this is Peter Davidson, who is interestingly the father of Georgia Tennant, who's married to the 10th Doctor, David Tennant. So, yeah. So this is an image from a production or a, a story called Time Flight. Um, in which Tegan, Nissa and the Doctor go back to prehistoric times um, to locate a Concord. As you can see, it's a Concord here and there's all these plants. Concord ended up in prehistoric times at the location of what is Heathrow Airport. So I thought we'd do this one. And if you want me to do another one from any of the two books, you, you can. And just specify if it's New Who, Classic Who and which Doctor you would like. So I'm just going to start on their skin to start with. How are you all? Are you all okay? How is it going this week for you? Wherever you are. I'm fine. We're all fine. We're all remarkably well. We're not uh, suffering with any illnesses at all. I did have a bit of an asthma attack the other day, but um, it's, I'm fine now. That's the main thing. And uh, yeah, I haven't really been watching a lot of television. Um, in fact, the only American series I've watched in the last few months has been cancelled after its first season. So there you go. I sure know how to pick bad TV programs that I like, yeah, and that was uh, Tommy. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really good, and I think it's a shame because. Uh, yeah, there was so much more that could have been done and there was so much more that was going to be over set up for uh, a Department of Justice investigation into the mayor. And now we'll never know what that was going to be. There we go. So that one was uh, Tegan. This is Peter Davison's The Fifth Doctor. I'm just going to give them a light colour in. Fortunately, there's not a lot of skin on these. It's just their faces and one of Nisa's, Nisa's hands. I cannot for the life of me remember who played Tegan. I'm sure somebody will remember and let me know. Yeah, this pencil's getting a bit short isn't it? I'm gonna to have to fold the paper page under. I always have to do that. It's because I'm left-handed. I've obviously not finished yet. I'm gonna give them a bit more colour yet. So I am a big big Doctor Who fan. I have been for years. I love old Who. Classic Who. I've seen I think pretty much every episode that's still in existence. You know, and I love it when they find new episodes. I remember when they found Tomb of the Cybermen, which was the one that was the Holy Grail at the time of uh, Doctor Who episodes to find. And, uh, yeah, it's great. I love it. it. You know, it was very exciting when they found that and put it out on VHS, as it was back then. Video cassette back in those days, mind. And, uh, yeah, I remember that, how excited we were it had been found and hopeful it gave hope that other 
lost episodes would be found and lots of them have to be fair they've found quite a few um it's good when things like that happen same as when a lost silent movie turns up that nobody was expecting to ever see again it's just like oh wonderful news so especially doctor who always always loved doctor who watched it when i was a kid so the first Doctor I would have seen would have been Tom Baker, but I don't really remember Tom Baker other than when he changed into Peter Davidson and that sort of era when Nyssa came into it. They just didn't do enough with her. Sarah Sutton was the actress that played Nyssa. They just didn't do enough with her, I'm afraid, but there you go, that's the way it is. Of course, now everybody's speculating on who's going to be the next Doctor when Jodie Whittaker leaves at the end of the next season. And I've always said it, and you know I've said it, I don't care as long as the scripts are good. Do you know what I mean? And I think that's part of the problem we've had, that the scripts haven't been good enough. The stories have had merit, the ideas are there, they've just it's just not been executed very well, I think. Which is which is a shame because the Jodie Whittaker and her crew have deserved so much better. So. It makes me actually want to watch Doctor Who again, whether it's old episodes or new episodes. I kind of want to put them on, so to speak, you know? Just a bit more on Tegan, darken her up a bit. She's looking a bit pale. Let's see. Tegan was uh, supposed to be from Australia. Uh, Nissa, of course, was from a whole different country, a different constellation, different uh, planet. She was from Traken. Of course, the Doctor, well, he used to be from Gallifrey, but now nobody knows where the Doctor's from. Because Chibnall's retconned everything, but we shall see. been at work been too tired to do any ebay i think it's just because i haven't got the car and we've been walking up and down the hill i've just been too tired i've been doing little bits on it i have got some things i must get listed so i'll probably do those tomorrow night um which would be an ebay night anyway so i probably will do them tomorrow that's better it looks that actually looks quite nice uh, peter so we're using the Black Widows and that was eggshell and murk, murk on the bottom, eggshell over the top. That's actually giving it quite a good look. And obviously I'm going to give some blusher to Tegan and Nyssa. But, uh, and Tegan's was sort of a lavender colour uniform and Nyssa's was a dark burgundy colour velvet outfit I remember very well because Nyssa was my favourite I guess it's because she was dark haired I mean so was Tegan but she was like so bossy I didn't take most people took to Tegan I didn't I, I preferred Nyssa she, she, she was more feminine is what it was not that that's necessarily a good or bad thing either way but um and she was also intelligent not that I am particularly, well I am, but not in that sciencey way, but she was also, she didn't say stupid things. Tegan was a bit stupid. And then other times she could be exceedingly bright. It was very, very odd. There we go. 
So, let's have this pink here for. Sharpen actually, and of course, Tegan was an air hostess. I'm just singing to myself a kind of purple haze. Yeah, that's perfect. So here we go. We'll do um, Tegan first. Let's give her a little bit of eyeshadow. She sort of had a purpley lavendery colour, so I'm going to use purple haze here. And that but that bit was lighter because Tegan was an air hostess, allegedly. Mind you, it was supposed to be her first day, and that's actually when she met the doctor because she broke down. They broke down on the way to the airport. And this one was later on, she'd left the doctor, or was going to leave the doctor, and to go back to becoming an air hostess, and then she and they ended up in the prehistoric times with the, a Concorde. So, allegedly, according to Doctor Who law, there is a Concorde somewhere buried under Heathrow Airport. It's actually a really good colour. I mean, I don't really remember the colour. I know it was this sort of shade, so I'd have to put another episode on. Which I would very much like to do, but I'm not going to. It's nice to... I've actually done quite a few bits in various new books you know that I haven't coloured before I think I've done there's this one I think I've got at least three or maybe four yeah I've done one in yeah we did one in the Deborah Miller book this one I've got a Camellia Angel Cove one on the go and my Hannah Carlson so that's four books that I've taken off the shelf and I've still got one from the Jade Summer collection that I've got to do so I'm really pleased so that'll be five books coloured in this month that I have never coloured in before and plus if I get any new ones I'm going to try and colour in them as I go so for instance I have got another Camellia Angel Cover book that arrived today um, so if I get a chance I will colour in that as well but that'll just be when I fancy doing a pattern I love her books for patterns they are so relaxing And that's his pocket there. It's interesting to look at the pictures and figure out what episode it came from. This one obviously is quite easy because I really remember the episode quite well. So I remember Time Flight, I remember the prehistoric and obviously I remember these three characters because they were my favourites. I mean, as David Tennant said in um, 
the children in need especially you did with Peter Davison you were my doctor and I watched that and I thought I know exactly what you mean it's the doctor you grew up with um, he's always your favourite doctor I mean I've got I've got to admit out of all of them I like John Pertwee the best but there is a special place in my heart for Peter Davison and his doctor and I do adore watching them I mean, Tom Baker was brilliant as well. They've all they've all been very good in their own way. The one I liked the least was, funny enough, was Colin Baker. But even now, I can appreciate the storylines and his character. He went with what he had. And um, after the brilliance of Baker and the, the comedic touch he brought to it, as well as the seriousness, and then this dashing, handsome man, as Peter Davison was. You, and then you go into this very weird looking curly haired bloke in a very extravagant outfit and you think oh god cool, what's this about but I don't have any problems with watching those episodes now with Colin Baker in it and I actually appreciate them more and more he was given some terrible storylines like for instance Kip trying to kill his companion <laughs> in his first episode that's never gonna go down well mind you she was annoying <laughs> Perry Nicola Bryant, her name was. I actually saw her in a production of The Great Gatsby in the 90s, early, very early 90s, it must have been. And she was in it with an actor whose name was John Isles. He used to play a policeman in The Bill. He was Dashwood. I went to see them and I, I met him afterwards. He was very nice. Didn't meet Nicola Bryant, though, sadly. I wish I had. But yeah, so it went to, to see see her in that. I miss going to the theatre, I'll admit. That's one of the things I miss about these times and what's going on in the world is I miss the theatre very, very much. Now, we were forecast to have snow at some point. Well, it's a, we're under a weather warning for snow and ice, but uh, it keeps changing. And as of yet, we haven't had any. It was supposed to snow at between 8 and 10, and it hasn't. And it was then it's then supposed to snow from 6 onwards. That's now changed to from 9 onwards. So I don't believe it's going to happen. I want it because I want Jennifer to experience it. I mean, that's what I want it for. I'm not worried about... Um, anything else you know obviously we're not going anywhere so it doesn't really matter but I want her to be able to play in the snow and build a snowman I mean she's quite young she's got, she's got plenty of years of young life left to, to do it before she gets to the point where she's not going to want to but I, I want to she sees snow on all these TV programs and cartoons like Peppa Pig and she knows there's just snow when she sees it and I'm like yeah now we need, need some real snow so you can excuse me sniffling I do apologize for that actually go out and enjoy it but who knows if we're ever gonna get any this one's gonna take a while this is gonna be a few episodes long I think guys if you want to see it all I mean, I'm, I'm 20 minutes in and all I've done is their faces and uh, Tegan's uh, top half. Obviously, we don't see anything further down. Technically, that would be his trousers there, but who knows? And that was when she was wearing that funny skirt by the look of it rather than the trouser suit. That's okay. Time Flight is the one episode I don't have. I am going to have to get it. Now, I need lilac -y colour. Let me just have a look to see what I've got. It won't be a second. Oops, put that one back. It's going to be a light colour. No. Nothing there. It's darker, I think, isn't it? Oh, no. That's about right, actually. Ooh, good. 
which is great. Was it a lot lighter this top bit? It's not going to be quite as light as it would have been in real life, but it is a slightly different shade. And of course she had a hat as well in the um, series. It's perfect colours actually for her. Amazingly. So I'm very pleased with these colours. They are actually looking very much like colours of her uniform actually in the series. So I'm pleased with that. And there we go. Just uh, making it look as nice as I can. So I do apologise if you think this is taking a long time. I want to do this justice. It's Doctor Who and I love it. The only one I've done in the other book is actually one of the Weeping Angels. Where did this come from? It's from the gold section. So it's got to be out there. Right, so I now want my burgundy. Now, I do believe there is a colour called burgundy. I think it's this one. Yes, it is. I can hardly see the writing because it's getting a bit small. Because, again, it's a colour I love. I'm going to go and do Anissa now. We'll start her off. So... There we go. Oh, that's a nice colour for that, actually. So next week's Paul's birthday, and I've booked off... We've got off his birthday, which is Monday, and we I've booked off Tuesday to do eBay, um, just because I want to try and get a huge amount of photographs done in one go, and then I can just say, right, that's it, it's done. Do you know what I mean? So that I'm not, because it's the whole setting it up all the time I get fed up of. It'll be easier when I've got a whole lot done, get it all uploaded and set up and then I can just do a few photographs every now and again or every night or every other night is the plan. Once I've done a load and I'm doing it, I won't feel so pressured that I've got to do it and it depresses me. Also, I've not been feeling well this week, so it's sort of like this week's gone out the window, which is a shame as I was hoping to get a load done this week, but never mind. i still got tomorrow. I have got some things I want to get listed, so I'll probably try and get them done tomorrow. So, so I'm not going to make this an extra long video. It's probably going to be about 40 minutes, I guess. It just depends. On uh, how long this takes. You know, I don't want it to be too long. Because I think this is going to be about three or possibly even four episodes long looking at it. It might be a bit less once I've got their clothes done. Peter Davison's is going to take the longer. Now her skirt, if that's her skirt, she wore this outfit with either a skirt or um, trousers, which she found in the doctor's um, wardrobe. Um, but that looks like it's the skirt, not the trousers. And the skirt was um, chiffon and it was purples and blues. I actually do remember it very well because of course she was my favourite character so no we to talk to who I am looking forward to the new series of Call the Midwife. I do enjoy that. Pete Davison was in the Christmas special. Interestingly. But yes, I am very much looking forward to it. So It's one of the few programmes I actually do like to watch. I tend to record it and watch it after Paul's gone to bed because it's not his kind of thing. It also means I can have a cry in peace because I always end up crying at it. <laughs> 
cry at everything, especially since Jennifer's been born. I just cry and cry and cry. So. trying to layer it so it goes nice nicely on so this one is going to take a long time but you did say Doctor Who <laughs> yeah, I do like Doctor Who and it's easy to, to check on their um costumes as well because you can just google Doctor Who characters Nyssa, Tegan, Peter Davison as the Doctor and you'll get the photographs of the outfits and you can just take, take the colours from there. His cricket outfit is a creamy yellow so I will find the right colour for that in my colours and we'll have a look at that later. And I can watch the Keeper of Track in it. I mean, this is going to be the same colour so I'm not worrying about it going down there. The trim would be the same colour but I'm just going to put a light layer of black or dark grey on it just to darken it off a bit. So, so yeah, you can just go and look up um, Peter Davison Doctor or Nissa Doctor. Um, Nissa Doctor Who. I'm just looking on my phone very quickly. Uh, Nissa or Sarah Sutton. She had a brooch. She's got a bow there. Um, let's go back. Let's see if I can find some images from Time Flight. Oops. As you can see, there's her costume there. It's very similar to those colours, actually. And that's with our Jack. Okay, anyway, I'll look at that later. <laughs> I could look at that all day and just... I don't see that she's got the... Um... There's not really that many pictures. Of her. She's not wearing a bow. She's wearing the trousers there. Sorry, I'm just let's go to images. Yes, because this is the oh come on out of that. This is the episode after Adric dies. What happened there? Oh dear. But that looks like the skirt there, that's what she wore in them. Um... And she's wearing... I mean it's a bit of a sorry we hit 
30 minutes and it stopped. So sorry about that. I was just looking at various pictures, but it doesn't appear that in time of flight she's wearing skirt, she's actually wearing the trousers, but for some reason they've got her wearing the skirt in this picture. So at least it looks like the skirt. It doesn't look like trousers to me. So so I do apologise, I mean I'm at 30 minutes and I've hardly done anything yet, but uh, not that it matters, it doesn't have to be perfect, does it? It doesn't have to be exactly the same colours that they wore. Yeah. I just love, I just don't want to ruin the picture, but that definitely does look, look like the trousers, it looks like the skirt, because the trousers were very, very tightly fitted. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Oh, she was looked so stunning, and she retired shortly after. To um, she was very young. Um, she was only supposed to be in the episodes, uh, the story Creeper of Tracker and Sarah Sutton, but they liked her so much that they they made her a full companion. It was only supposed to be Tegan and Adric that were the camp companions, and uh, so. That's why the, the TARDIS was quite, well, they called it the crowded TARDIS, but this, this series has been the same with three companions. It's just this time it's been two male and, and um, one woman, as it's two girls and one man. gonna give this a sharpen. <laughs> so yeah. I think I'm gonna have to get a copy of Time Flight. I might have a look on eBay because I'd like to see it again actually. I think it couples with another episode but I'm not sure. Yeah, Nissa was my favourite. I don't know why, just there's just something that drew me to her. I thought she was lovely. She's still one of my favourite companions. done much in 40 minutes. I have did spend a little bit looking at the photos to try and see what this thing is which isn't actually I mean on the pictures they had so yeah and that's definitely the skirt and not trousers so. but uh, I can manage I can sort it out. It's nice to get in colour in this book. I was thinking, which one shall I do? There's so many. This one goes right up to Capaldi. I think there's one, from, at least one from each doctor. There might be one doctor missing. I'm not sure. I'd have to look through. I'll let you know in the next um, episode. And uh, I'm probably just going to finish Nissa's top because we're at. Uh, 35 minutes already, nearly. I've got work tomorrow and it's getting on. Oh, God. I've still got all the trim to do yet. Probably do that in the next episode. My colours are good, though.
Rücken. Yes, I think I'm going to have to track down time flight and uh, watch it again. Get the, uh, the thing with Concord is Concord was white, so that's not going to show up very well. Well, I suppose it's going to be, it will be, it'll be white on a blue sky and a green trees and stuff, so. So much. On one, oops. So much detail in the, the leaves here, really, in the pictures. And you think that is going to take a long time. But I think once we get their costumes done, it won't be so bad. I mean, you can see why we like using markers. They are quicker. Markers are so much quicker. But of course, this is, well, it's not really double sided. It just shows the um, same picture on the back. You could use markers. Um, yeah, 1982 time flight was. Right, so my battery is about to run out, so I'm actually going to call it a night at, um, now we're on about 37 minutes, so. I'm just going to do that, that would just be her loops down there. So if it goes off, I do apologise. I will quickly change the battery if it does, obviously. But, uh. We haven't done very much, I'll admit. I'm just going to zoom out so you can see. Uh, we've done Nissa's top, Tegan's outfit and their skin and that's it. So it's uh, it, getting these costumes right is going to take a long time. So I do apologise that I haven't done much. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think so far. And of course, uh, share and uh, with your friends. And if you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe. I do appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.